Hello Word 7, I hope you are fine. This is Mr. Mahmoud and in today's video we're gonna have a new vocabulary lesson. It's lesson 20. The title of this lesson is The Same Old Story and it was just by coincidence that it's the same name for a very known uh, novel for Ivan Goncharov and is very no very known and famous novelist. Actually he's Russian. Generally the idea of this lesson that the past and the present about the traditions about how the people think and everything like this and it is actually a conversation between grandmother and her granddaughter about that we need to let a bit restricted to the culture or the heritage that must be inherited from generation to another one. The first word we have is absolute. We're going to read now this context and try to guess the meaning. It's true, Kara, that people haven't changed as much as you think, says Mrs. Fuentes, with absolute or total conviction. So absolute here is an adjective and means definite, unrestricted, total, pure, something that is pure or definite. If it's going to be used as a noun, means something that can't be compared or questioned. The second word is banish. Just banish that notion or idea from your head and don't let it come back, she tells her granddaughter. Banish is a verb, means exile, forced to leave or to get rid of. Banish the idea means get rid of the idea. Cultural. Cultural, of course, it's an adjective, comes from the noun culture. And by remembering the past, we can keep a sense of cultural heritage. It's important for each new generation to have some tie to the customs of its particular people. Cultural is an adjective, means related to the appreciation of music, art, literature, or the customs and improvement of a certain people in a given period. We all know culture, therefore we all know cultural. Illusion. To think the past doesn't matter is an illusion, a false and sometimes dangerous belief. Illusion is a noun, means a false idea or belief, misleading appearance or image. Number five, lure, lure. For some reason, recent generation have led the idea that they are a special tent or lure them away from their pasts. Lure is a verb. It means to attract, tempt, seduce, as a noun, something that attracts or tempt, or bait. Perilous, perilous. It's a perilous thing, my dear, to forget your heritage. I want you to avoid this danger. Do you understand? Her grandmother asks. Perilous is an adjective, means dangerous, risky, or unsafe. Perilous thing means dangerous thing. A status, status. Kara respects her grandmother's position in the family as well as her grandmother's status in the community. A status is a noun, means condition, position, or rank. Number eight, toil. Mrs. Wantes has worked hard all her life, but years of toil haven't weakened her spirit. Toil is a verb, 
means to work hard and continuously to advance or move with difficulty. Can be used as a noun and means hard, exhausting work or effort. Number nine, valiant. Kara believes that her grandmother is as valiant as any hero in a storybook, as brave and in her own way as strong. Valiant is an adjective and means courageous or brave. Let's go to the first page in our book. As we see here, we will find the definition sometimes and the synonyms or only the synonyms. Number 11, it's an adjective, means definite, unrestricted, total, pure, something that is pure or definite. Noun, something that cannot be compromised or questioned, it's absolute. Number 12, an adjective means dangerous, risky or unsafe, perilous, it's perilous. Number 13, it is a verb, means to exile, to force, to leave or to get rid of, it's banish, banish the idea. Number 14, is a verb means to attract or tempt as a noun means something that attract or tempt or bait it is lure number 15 adjective means related to the appreciation of music art literature it's draw all to the customs and improvements of a certain people in a given period it's cultural Number 16, condition. Condition means status or rank, yes. Number 17 is a noun, means false idea or belief, misleading appearance or image, illusion. Illusion is a noun and illusionist is the adjective and also can be a noun. Toil, guys, means to work hard and continuously to afford to, to advance or move with difficulty. If it's a noun, means hard, exhausting, or work or effort. Adjective means courageous or brave, valiant. Number twenty, revenge, the desire of for revenge, vengeance, vengeance. So I will say it again, vengeance is revenge, the desire for revenge, vengeance, vengeance, number 20. And your homework is going to be on page 82, it's exercise 3. You will have the same thing that we have all the time. One column about the opposite and one column about the meaning. Thank you very much for your listening and I hope you stay fine.